Hey everyone, so this is going to just be a short little tutorial video on, on how to set up my custom ragdoll presets for Stalker. Uh, this is going to be for modders and I will be releasing this mod for modders. I'm going to be releasing my ragdoll presets as they are here and then I'm just going to let you guys, the community, um, apply them however you wish, use it however you want. So you guys can you know, replace the vanilla models or HD models or your own custom models and then get the custom ragdolls on there. Uh, you guys can use it however you wish. You can use it for other mods if you want and you know, whatever. It's all for you guys. Uh, I will not be able to release this mod in completion myself. It's just, I just don't have the time to do that. So I'll just release it like this for you guys. So. Let me explain what this is here. So these are the macro presets. So you got one for exosuit, which is like more rigid. It's, you know, for stalkers obviously wearing exosuits. Uh, you've got light. This is for stalkers that are just wearing, you know, jackets, coats, shirts, uh, no body armor. It's very flimsy, very flexible, and very floppy. Uh, medium, that's for stalkers with body armor, so that the spine is more rigid. Um, that's actually what this guy here is. He's the medium preset. So you can see when he hits the ground, his knees bend in and his head falls down, but his spine doesn't really bend around that much. And that's to just simulate the uh, rigid body for body armor or the vest or whatever. Um, so, yep. And then you've got... Oops, sorry. And then you've got the trench coat. I don't remember exactly what I did with this one, but you guys will figure it out. You can play around with it and use whatever you like. I think this is just more, a little bit more flexible in the spine area, and then the legs are more floppy and whatever. And the head, I think, flops around more. I think the head is a little bit more weightless. Um, but yeah, and then you have your coordinates file here. So I will explain what that is. And so let's go ahead and get started. I will open up one of the vanilla models. <clears throat> we'll just open up a bandit here. All right, this will work. All right, so let's just simulate the vanilla ragdolls. Oh yeah, that's the old, the classic ragdoll <laughs> physics right there and the ragdoll poses. Pretty boring, pretty stiff. Pretty lifeless. He gets at some funny poses, like his back is arched up and his knees are closed together. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and apply my custom anime or my custom ragdolls. So we'll open up uh, medium. I'm using V2. That's because it's got the updated interface. Uh, V1 doesn't have the enter all button, so you know you'll have to enter in everything one by one, whereas V2 has the enter all button. And maybe it has some different uh, settings, but I don't think so. I think it's the same settings. Uh, so anyways, what this tool here is, which by the way, huge shout out to Tweaky Breaky for this. Like, he, this would not be possible without him. Seriously, like huge shout out to him for this and creating this little program for me. And for you guys, this will make your lives so much easier compared to how I was doing things originally. <sighs> okay, so what this is, is... You got your little instructions on the left, you've got your coordinates in the middle, and then you have your you know, data entry buttons here, or you have your enter all on the bottom. So how this will work is you have to expand these sections here as shown in the uh, file. So you have to expand bones, and then root stalker, bib01, pelvis, left thigh, left calf, and then you stop at the foot. And then you go right thigh, right calf, sup at right foot. And you've got spine, spine one, and spine two. And then neck and head. Okay, and then you go left clavicle, left upper arm, and then you stop at the forearm. Right clavicle, right upper arm, right forearm, and you stop at, you stop at forearm, okay. Um, and then you have to change these joints from rigid to joint, so left foot. Uh, actually, first, let me show you this. So click on like the left calf, or let's do left thigh. Click on left thigh, and then you want to expand these sections down here under item properties. So you expand bones, bone, and then joint. 
you don't have to expand shape. What about global? I don't think you have to do global. Um, so we'll put it on uh, bones, bone, joints, limits, and then X, Y, and Z. Okay? And then for these bones here, you set it from rigid to joint. So left foot, spine, spine two, and left foot. So we'll go left foot. Actually, that's a typo. That should be right foot. I'll fix that. Um, so left foot, you see type here, and then it says rigid, so you change it to joint. And then do it for right foot, rigid to joint. And then it says spine, change that to joint. And then spine two to joint. And then you click in these coordinate boxes. So for um, root stalker, or enter root stalker data, you would click in the white box. You move your mouse cursor over to where root stalker is on your screen, and then you tap F11. So that will enter the coordinates uh, on your screen of where this section is. So my mouse will be here, I click F11, and then it enters those coordinates into the box here. And then it'll swap over to the next one automatically. So BIP01, pelvis, left thigh, left calf, left foot, right thigh, right calf, right foot, Spine, spine one, spine two, uh, head, left clavicle, left upper arm, left forearm, right clavicle, right upper arm, right forearm, and then bip o one tail. And so those are all the coordinates. Um, let me go ahead and close that and show you that those coordinates, they save in this any file here. So all those coordinates are now saved. And then anytime I open up one of these script files, those coordinates will be saved. So that's a really nice quality of life thing there. So let me open up my medium preset again, pull up my SDK, and let me test to make sure I have these correct settings. So let me go left thigh and then enter in left thigh data. I just want to make sure this is going to enter in correctly. Okay, I think so. Let me just try a left calf. Make sure I have the correct item properties. Uh, and then let's do, let's do head. I just want to make sure it doesn't do anything wonky and mess things up. Okay, cool. So that works. Everything is set up as it should. Everything is working. So now I can just hit the enter all data button and then it will apply all of the ragdoll presets automatically. So I'll just go ahead and let this run for a second. There it is, and then it plays the little Windows error side when it's done. So <clears throat> now that's done, let's hit simulate. And there's our custom ragdolls. A lot more alive and less stiff than the <laughs> the default ones. So yeah, there you go. And then you would just uh, export this to the game engine and you're all set. Um, and one thing about these ragdolls is that for um, weapons, these ragdolls are impacted by impulse. Oh, sorry. Impulse. Okay. What the hell? Oh, wrong file. Hit impulse. So hit impulse has a drastic effect on the ragdoll. So the higher it is, the more it affects the ragdoll, and the lower it is, the less it affects the ragdoll. So if you have a hit impulse of like 400 for like a shotgun, then that's going to send the ragdoll into space, basically. Or if you have a hit impulse of 5, then the ragdoll is not going to react basically at all to your gunshots. So uh, this is going to couple well with weapon modders. So, you know, the guys working on BAS or, you know, whatever. Just independent animators who are making their own animations or weapons, they can do this too. So, hit impulse will affect ragdolls. If you want your, if you want more impact on the ragdoll, more force, 
then you would hit impulse to higher numbers. And so, yeah, there you guys go. Have fun. I trust that the community will uh, make good use of these. So.